I always prided myself on never getting caught. When I come through the line, I always know that I'm going to score. Touchdown, tight! We knew what the storyline was going in. Chris Johnson, his quest for 2,000. My track speed translated because I was always a football guy first. He's unbelievable. Chris is definitely the fastest. He just doesn't look it because he's so smooth, but when he has the ball in his hands, nobody can seem to get him. I ran track to get me faster for football season. He's full speed in two steps. He's tough between the tackles, has excellent patience, and he has a gear like Dion. I started seeing defenders, they turn around and run that way. Dr. Sulu, beam number 28 up, because he gets in the warp speed. And Chris Judson has just run into history. My rookie year, Vince Young got hurt. Vince Young being hurt, your thoughts on that, Deion Sanders? It's, it's not good for the Tennessee Titans, but in the long run, I think, when the short term it is, because Kerry Collins is the perfect relief pitcher. Kerry started playing, and then we went 13 and three. And Tennessee is loving life. Lindell White, Chris Johnson at defense. <laughs> I am on the bandwagon. <laughs> Kerry Collins is the MVP. So we came back the next year. Kerry was the starter. Kerry Collins. Penn State. Chris Johnson, East Carolina. Personal expectation was being that we went 13 and 3, I was thinking that that's just what we do. We out here. You know what I'm saying? I would not fall, you know what I'm saying? I would score touchdowns for food. You know, I came in that year and the coaches was like, yeah, we're going to put the offense on your back. We're going through you, this and that. And it's all up to you to step up to the challenge. Tennessee Titans, you mentioned Chris Johnson, a spectacular rookie season. He will be in action tonight. Before the season, I did an interview and I said that I was going to rush for 2,000 yards. It kind of like brushed it off and ain't take me serious. And there's no room at all. Probing the middle, Chris Johnson. It's an inside handoff and making the tackle is Polamalu. Chris Johnson, the ball carrier. And I'll tell you what the Steelers did tonight. They snatched one from the jaws of defeat. We just came off a 13 and three season and we started off the year 0-6. Is it back to Brady on a flea flicker? Brady looking, throwing long, and he can. Touchdown, Randy Moss. Six touchdown passes in the game for Brady, and the blowout is now totally out of control. It was like, damn, we just went from the year before winning the first 10 games. It was like, I'm not used to this. It was crazy. Well, this 59 to nothing score is going to become the largest margin, in fact, since 1976. And we ended up losing that game. But I feel like that gave me momentum to where I went for 2,000 yards. Going into week seven, Bud Adams came out and was like, Vince is going to be our starter. The big story in the Music City, Vince is back. He can be a quality quarterback in the NFL, but if he's going to do it in Tennessee, he's got to do it now. Everybody knew, like, this was Vince Young's team. We were on six, we needed a spark, and he came in and he gave us that, that spark. The three down, rolls out of the pocket, cuts it back, looking for the first down, Young hits the sideline. Vince Young, popping his collar now, folks. Vince is a pure paymaker. Young throws the fade, touchdown! He's got his swag. Anytime he's in the game, like, he's going to make plays. And here comes the little dynamo, Maurice Jones-Drew. Being able to go head to head with Jones-Drew, I know it's gonna be me versus him. He catches the ball, he can pass protect, he's a physical runner, and he has the speed to hit the home run. He is a franchise back here in Jacksonville, and they use him as such. You know, when we first get to work on Wednesday, so that's when we put in scouting reports, we put in game plans and all that. We get into the meeting, and Jeff Fisher's like, he put his thing up on the board, comparing stats. Within the last 10 years, Titans versus Jaguar game, 
whichever running back has the most rushing yards, that's what team always win. And that's what we're doing this week, and he broke the meeting. From the 20, Garrard goes toss sweep. Here's Jones Drew coming left. Maurice Jones Drew breaking it back. And Maurice Jones Drew down the sideline. It wasn't Jacksonville Jaguars versus Tennessee Titans. It was Maurice Jones Drew versus Chris Johnson. Can they catch him? Maurice Jones Drew touchdown Jacksonville as the little dynamo goes 80 yards. Me and him in the box and ring, and it was like a back and forth battle, back and forth battle. Chris Johnson with a seed. Chris Johnson. I just knew what I had to do. It was a battle. I'm like, it's on. Let's go. I'm about to show them that. I'm the best running back in the league. Here's the handoff to Chris Johnson. This was a third down, and it was a trap play we called when I came through the line. Gives the ball to Chris Johnson. The cornerback tried to come down and tackle me low. I jumped over him, and I seen the safety, and it was me and him, and you know, I just ran through him. Johnson hurt him. When I got in the end zone, a couple guys jumped on me. 89 yards! I got up, and then I started to jog towards the sideline, and just out of nowhere, like, I just dropped. I just couldn't breathe. Chris Johnson is tired. He should be. He's run for 220 yards on 20 carries, which is a club record. Because, you know, me and Jones Drew have been going back and forth all day, and that final blow, I finally knocked him out, but I gave all I had with that blow. Remember in the old days, they used to have oxygen for him. Where's the oxygen? He didn't make it to the bench. I just needed to lay down for a while and kiss my breath. And the fans showing their appreciation for the second year back out of East Carolina. Being able to go head to head with Jones Drew and win the battle meant a lot. He keeps the football. He kept his football, but he lost his lunch. It's coming in affected my role a lot. We started opening up the playbook. Ooh, the option. Uh-oh. We were running option plays. And the NFL's leading rusher finds his way to the end zone. When you got Ben Sean back there and he's a threat to run the ball to, take some of the pressure off me. Ben Sean looks. Don't hold, Fakes. don't hold. Run, throws. It's caught for a touchdown. Vince became a starter. We won eight out of the last 10 games. After a 59 to nothing loss to New England dropped Tennessee to 0 and 6 two months ago, the Titans are unexpectedly competing for a playoff berth with two games remaining. Players have adopted a what do we have to lose mentality and were loose and free at practice Wednesday, hoping to extend one of the most stirring turnarounds in NFL history. Hand off to Johnson. See ya. Johnson's a blur. Touchdown. Handoff, it's Johnson. Johnson hit, and Johnson keeps on going. Touchdown, Titans. We've been fighting and scratching, you know, each week to try to get back to what we, you know, the, the mess that we built for ourselves, so. During that streak, would be all the type of wins we was getting, the last minute wins, the clutch wins. Brown's kick is leaking to the left, and the Titans will win. It just installed confidence. Kick is good. Tennessee wins. No matter what adversity we face, in, we can always make a play and win this game. And as Vince Young and the Tennessee Titans emerge on Reliance Stadium on Monday night, it's not so much Vince Young that the Texans defense will be focusing on, but the NFL's leading rusher, Chris Johnson, who looks to notch his fifth consecutive 100-yard game. Johnson got a block from his wide receiver, stays on his feet, right through the tackle of pushing, and explodes down the sideline. What a run by Chris Johnson. When I really thought that I really had a shot to get 2,000 yards, it was probably like week 12. Two tight ends in, it's Chris Johnson. Breaking a tackle, here's the big run. Johnson, down the sideline, is going all the way. Touchdown! I think 
like I had like 15, 1,600 rushing yards. Johnson leads the NFL in rushing just under 1,400 yards this season. And it was like, damn, I really got a chance to do this. Johnson trying to bounce it outside, has a crease, has an opening, cuts back, and Chris Johnson is into the end zone. NFL Network. They started calling me CJ2K, and they had a ticker. So the CJ2K meter stands at 1,626 yards. Every week they had a ticker. So I had no choice but to pay attention to it. Here comes Chris Johnson. He is so sweet. Ninth straight 100-yard game. CJ2K now stands at 1,730 yards. And I see every week is going down, going down, going down. I got a chance, I got a chance. That leads us into our CJ2K watch as Johnson approaches 2,000 yards rushing on the season and inches closer to Marshall Falk's single season yards from scrimmage record. So going into week 17, I know I needed 148 rushing yards. And the headline here, Chris Johnson and his quest for NFL history. We was going to do whatever it took. This is a team that has taken ownership and trying to help that man right there get the rushing title. Everybody is on board. We went in that game to get the 2,000 yards. And off to Johnson. He's got a hole. Chris Johnson darts through it. Option. Young on a pitch. And he's got Johnson for a first down. Chris Johnson in his bid for history puts the Tennessee Titans on the board. That's the most carries in a game in my career with 31 carries. Outside, it's caught by Johnson. And Chris Johnson brought down after the gain of nine. It's a new NFL record for yards from scrimmage for Chris Johnson topping Marshall Falk's previous mark. When I broke that record, I didn't know anything about it. Falk's record goes down today here in the Pacific Northwest. I didn't find out about that until press conference after the game. Johnson. And Johnson cracks 100 yards for the 11th straight game. He's now got 103 on the day and 25 yards away from 2,000 for the season. We had been running the inside zone play all year. So going into this game, he like, we going to put a little flavor on it. We going to toss it. Seven and two for Tennessee. And you know, I take my little shuffle, shuffle, catch the ball. The defense runs to the outside, and it's the linebacker left, and I got the fullback in front of me. Block the guy perfectly. It opens up. It don't matter who's back there, safety, nothing. I'm going to score. Saw sweep, Johnson coming up the middle, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, it's a touchdown, Titans! And Chris Johnson has just run into history! I get to the end zone, and when I look, I see the whole offense still way back there from where the play started. I'm like, man. Oh no, a penalty. It's coming back. <sighs> they say hold it. Penalty flag back at the 43. Offense oh, number 45. He doesn't know it yet. Ten yard penalty, 15 second down. A 62 yard run is taken off the board. It was like, damn, I done broke 2,000 yards. They done took it back from me. Johnson, and he's got it. Chris Johnson is now a member of the 2,000 yard rushing club. He joins an elite group of running backs, just the sixth player all time to get there. Once I finally did it, it was like, okay, let's win the game. Third and goal at the pitch. Johnson slashing to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. That's going to be one sore back at the end of the day. 2,006 yards on the season. That's fifth all time. OJ Simpson, Eric Dickerson, Barry Sanders, Terrell Davis, Jamal Lewis, Adrian Peterson, me. It's crazy. What an accomplishment by the second-year sensation, Chris Johnson.